to his OJ, everyone's favorite Nigerian. This that real life shit, nigga. Nice. I got one more for y'all. Okay. Why you being weird to me? Real shit or weird shit? Bobby Altoff. Y'all know who that is? I had to look her up because I seen her all over Twitter. But I <laughs> she didn't popped know her up name. out of nowhere, my nigga. At least on my time timeline, she popped Same. up out of nowhere. I'm sure on no one that watches this, this timeline popped up out of nowhere. But I know the demographic mm-hmm. that she was hitting before this. I could tell. What you guys say? What, what was with that deep ass sigh? What yeah, was that? She, she got something to say. She's like, <gasps> ASMR yeah. over here. It's like, nigga, you better use your words. Breathing nigga. all my ear and shit it, like that. When you sent it, I didn't know. Turn that. me on. <laughs> Hey yo, hey yo, that's real <laughs> shit. I cannot do anything with you two. <laughs> yo, you heard when that, she, right? When you had sent the, when you had sent it, I didn't know who it was until I looked her up, and then I, I knew mm-hmm. who she was. I just didn't know her by name. Yep. Um, and that's how I looked on her thing. And there was a video she had on TikTok where she was like talking about how she's an industry plant. And I was like, I seen okay, that. Well, she was making a joke about she it. She made yeah. a joke. Yeah, yeah, I seen that too. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was really the reality because where'd she come from? And apparently, yeah, she mm. she she came from like young mom TikTok. Apparently, and she was her hope. pops is somebody big, and the neighbor put her on or some shit. The neighbor put her on and basically gave her like the first interview that was big, and then from there it just kind of rolled out. But like she, her family or some, she just basically is a rich ass Beverly Hills girl who got her pops got hella connections from what it seemed like. She be talking about how she's broke on all her she interviews, is. bro. She's yeah. broke. That's what she say. Ain't nobody pop about it there, like that. nowhere. She, she ain't got no sponsors. She she like gives me funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. She she said she ain't she got gives no sponsors. Funny Marco. Like, yeah, she bit she his like, whole flu, bro. Like, no, yeah. Do you like she me? do like the quiet like. like Girl, shut up. Yeah, she <laughs> stole his up. whole. I was so surprised to see Marco on her shit. I was though. gonna say, but she did an interview with him too. I think like that was low key to like dispel any idea that like she bought his flow because I was so com- like I don't know if I, I'm a musician if I somebody bit my whole flow and I did a song with him I'd be like bro like I'm not doing shit with you like no like you bit my whole shit man. Funny Marco, funny as fuck. He's but funny think, as a bitch. But do you think that she would be this hot if she wasn't interviewing who she is, black people? No, 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 like, well, like, no. I so I, I went back. So her first like couple interviews were like white people. Never but saw she didn't get big until Funny yep. Marco. Funny Marco was yep, the first that was one. The first one I seen too. And I know for a fact Drake saw that shit. Was like, yo, this shit funny. I'm, 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 I'm gonna hit this girl yep. up so I could be on the podcast because yep. she's hella, or she, he thought it was hella funny, and then just blow her up because yep. that's. That just sounds like something Drake would do. I was, like, was going to say, hey, I'm going to make this girl famous. Watch. What did Drake do? <laughs> he finds somebody where he got the leverage. They low key enough, but popping enough to like give him a little clout, but he can give them a lot of clout. How baby things. Exactly. Baby and things. then he helped them come like, up and he controlled the narrative. That's why he didn't want to do. Everybody's telling him to do drink champs and shit like all that. Like, why would he do that? Like, I know Joe Budden was pissed. That nigga been trying to get Yeah, <laughs> but why would it? Forever. Because Joe Budden would actually press him and shit about like other shit. Like, would he? Joe Budden don't press people. I think he would. That def- nigga, I people think he would make pleasing, him. Bro. Yeah, but I think he would make him a little uncomfortable just to fuck with him. And that girl was like, he, she was not going to do nothing to make him feel. Joe Budden, everybody friend, when they come on, when to, they the, come on to when the, they come yeah. on to that podcast. Hi, keto, you right. Once they leave, yeah. it's like fuck that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like why? Why is your vein popping out your head? Ooh, six pack <laughs> ass. Like some nigga that you were just dapping six up. Six pack ass. <laughs> Those pack ass. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he talk hella shit with nobody there. <laughs> Wait till you leave the room type of shit. That's crazy. Y'all are so stupid. I'm being real bucks over here. We keeping it real bucks. <laughs>